Hey, this is Chris Young from HomeKit Geek here. Today we're going to be looking at the Akara Smart Home Hub for Apple HomeKit. This product at the time of this recording has not been released yet, but I managed to get my hands on it. It is pretty interesting. It is a Zigbee Hub based product, but unlike some of the other Zigbee Hubs, like uh, for instance, Philips Hue, it's not just a hub. It's actually a functional device that happens to have a hub inside it. So in addition to the hub functionality, you've also got the nightlight and it's got an alarm, which is kind of cool. And there are also a ton of accessories that are going to be available for this. What kind of accessories, you ask? Well, there's going to be quite a few here. You can see that we've got plugs and motion sensors, temperature sensors, door and window sensors that are Zigbee-based, not Bluetooth. We've got light switches, mini controllers. we got a ton of stuff coming and quite possibly more to come as Akara starts to release more of their traditional smart home products into the Apple HomeKit ecosystem. So let's take a look. So as I said, there's a lot of products that are coming out with this, um, and the core of this is going to be the hub, which is kind of interesting. You can see it's a tiny little box. We've got the wireless mini switch, right? We've got the uh, water leak sensor, door and window, um, the wireless double rocker, the smart plug, right? We've got a, a bunch of products here that we're going to be doing reviews at and looking at more in depth. But today I just wanted to show you what is like just all the stuff that's coming out here, which is going to be really, really, really cool. What's also interesting is there are no lights connecting to this Zigbee hub at this point in time. So you can see here it is a RGB night light. Um, what's also interesting on this box, unlike some of the other Akara gear I've looked at in the past, it is multilingual. There is uh, French, English, Spanish, right? There's quite a few different languages on the box, so you can tell they are taking serious. They're pushed to get the products into um, customers all over the world and outside of their traditional Asian market. So you can see here as you open it up, um, right there they have the new QR code for their HomeKit code. So it's nice and accessible. Um, you've also got the hub itself here. You can see this isn't a USB uh, mini micro based plug. It's actually going to be a full plug-in. just puts it into the wall. We've got this nice dear customer. The Akara Sport team congratulates you selecting. So there looks like they're taking support fairly seriously. Not much else in the box, to be honest. It is pretty straightforward. This, there's no USB cable. Again, we've got the HomeKit code um, right there on in the instructions. You can tell, again, multi-language right in the instructions. They're taking serious their push, which is a good thing, right? It's, it's always a concern when you have a company who is traditionally in a certain market that has a certain language base, and they're trying to get into the rest of the world um, or, and, and other markets do they really take that serious? In this case, it looks like they, they in fact have. So looking at the hub here, you can see it's got the speaker in there. It's got, again, the QR code for the HomeKit code, and it's a North American plug. So this will work for us. So let's get this set up. So I've already got the Akara Home app installed here, and it integrates directly. Ask me for HomeKit. I can see all my HomeKit accessories. But interestingly enough, it actually doesn't show me the scenes or automations from within HomeKit. It's asking me to log in and do that myself. And it's a little bit different, but it's kind of cool. And, and we'll show you what you can do with this. So I'm going to sign in here and quickly we'll, uh, we'll get in. Of course, our firmware is up to date. I don't have anything installed yet. So my firmware, of course, is up to date. So the first thing we're going to do is install that new hub. And basically that is as easy as plugging it in. Um, of course, I've got no automations or scenes set up yet, which is normal. Um, so I'm going to click on the little plus button and we're going to do which one? We're going to install the Akara hub and all I have to do is power it on and wait till it starts, lights start blinking. So I'll save you guys the suspense here. It didn't work for me. Um, I had to go over and use the, uh, airport setup. So, uh, go into Wi-Fi, click on the Akara hub and say, okay, which accessory do you want to connect it to or which, um, which Wi-Fi network do you want to connect it to? So for whatever reason, I see this occasionally, um, especially with newer products, they fail that initial home kit setup and pushing their wireless settings over. Not a big deal. Just go into the accessory port part in your Wi-Fi. You can push those settings over, no problem. And there we go. It's joined the Wi-Fi network. Now we can go back over to the Akara app and add it successfully. So I will speed my way through this. I'm going to confirm uh, the lights flashing, confirm, confirm the procedure, connected to 2.4, put in the QR code, look at that, added. And it works, right? So again, um, not ideal, but I'm sure this is just one of those bugs that are going to get worked out over time. 
I'm going to put in the nightlight, which is the accessory. So again, this is the combination of an accessory and a bridge in the same device. So there's the nightlight, which is an RGB, so full color nightlight. Um, you've also got the siren, and the siren inside it, that speaker, is not exposed to HomeKit at this time. There is no speaker um, in HomeKit as an accessory. And it says additional setup is required. Um, go over to the app. So we're in the app. Okay, so what else can we do? Well, we want to add more accessories, right? So again, I want to point out that this was not a released product, and yet uh, I was prompted for firmware updates, which is kind of cool, right? So the uh, current version is 1226, latest version is 1230. So they are making um, they are making additional fixes. This will now support the curtains, optimize system stability. So I'm expecting good things and lots of updates in the next year. So the last thing I want to show you guys here is the way that we do scenes and automations in the Akara app, which is a little bit different. Yes, of course we can um, go into HomeKit and Apple Home and use anything in there, but there's a different automation engine right within the Akara app where we can grab any of the, um, the, the devices that we have discovered, which I've got a few here already added in, and we'll get to those videos later. And we can use those to perform actions, some of the actions which are not actually available to us within Apple HomeKit. So we can say, for instance, if the door and window sensor, um, let's say if it opens, then I want to do something. And what can we do? Well, right now we have two devices that you can take an action of, which is the Akara Hub or the Smart Plug. We could push notifications as well, right? But let's let's just get the alarm notifications in there just to say, you know, we'll, we'll make sure we have those. But I want to look at the Akara Hub because that's where I think things are going to get a little interesting. So click on the add button again, click on a car hub and look at that. We have, we can turn the light light on or off. We can play ringtones and we can push like these alarm settings, which is kind of cool. So I can play it, have it playing dog barking or air alert battle sounds. So I can actually have it as kind of a more of a security device so that in after a certain point of time, um, the window opens, maybe I'm already at, uh, asleep at night, I want some kind of a notification, an audible alarm, I can do that here. This is not available to us within HomeKit. When I've got this set up, I can actually just show you guys here, I'm going to pull this, um, the, the door and window sensor apart, and look at that. So, my thoughts. I'm, I think I'm going to be a real big fan of the Akara system here. Um, the app seems to be pretty good. Uh, yeah, there are some bugs in it, but you know what? It's, it's brand new. That will get fixed quickly. Um, we're already seeing updates happening, so that's nice to know. They have a, a bunch of different accessories here, including blinds, right, which is awesome. We're going to have some HomeKit-enabled blinds now, which is, which is awesome. And because it's Zigbee-based, it's super, super fast and super responsive. The other thing I'm really looking forward to is seeing the price point when this stuff actually comes out. Um, if the existing Akara devices are anything to guide us by, it is going to be a lot less expensive than a lot of the other accessories we have to choose from right now, which is good for everybody, right? It'll drive the price down, make it more accessible. Did I miss anything? Um, do you guys have questions, comments? Put them in the links below. I do have a few Akara accessories that I'm going to be doing further reviews on, so there will be more information coming on these. Don't worry. Likes are always appreciated, as are shares. Subscribe if you haven't. Click on that little bell. It makes it really easy to get notified when there's new videos coming out. And if you want to learn how to make your house just a little bit smarter using Apple HomeKit, do me a favor. Check in the video details below. There's a link to my Udemy class.